What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Okay, so let's face the facts, this video is long overdue. We are finally hitting you with the new Gymshark Power Collection. It's funny, it's new. But is it new? They went back to that OG power material, you remember about a year and a half ago when they originally came out with the power collection. In fact, if you check out their website, they actually label it power original leggings. So there's no guessing game here. It's the original and it's back. I'm actually really happy about that because out of all the power that has launched, that was probably my favorite. I know after that they came out with this wacky waistband that was just not even stretchy, not even a little bit. So. That hurt a lot of people's feelings. And then last launch, if you recall, they kept that waistband and they also added on some straps on the bra. A lot of people didn't like that very much. <laughs> so they obviously took notes. They learned what we like and what we don't like. So this is what we end up with. So we're gonna dip and dive into what to expect with this new power collection. Keep in mind, all these pieces you see are already launched. I'll have them all linked down below as well as my measurements. And if you do use any of my Gymshark links to help support this channel, please always let me know so I can personally thank you. Also, do not forget to subscribe because the next video you're going to see after this one, Ooh, it's a big, big Gymshark video. I think you can tell what it's gonna be. Guys, this video is brought to you in part by Ebby. This is by far my all-time favorite underwear brand. Ebby specializes in seamless undergarments, which you know is very essential when you're wearing leggings and tighter form-fit clothes. But do not get it twisted, they also offer bodysuits, tanks, silky soft loungewear, all in different patterns, prints, textures, they even have mesh, which has quickly become my favorite. But today I am here to talk to you about their nude and black bralettes and undies. Guys, I say this all the time, I don't actually wear real bras. Nothing with underwire, nothing uncomfortable. Typically, to be honest, I only wear sports bras, but even then, to wear them under tight fit clothes can get a little risque. By that I mean you can see seam lines, you can see bulkiness, if there's any ruching, you're gonna see that through your tank top. What I love is that Ebby has perfectly seamless bralettes that are extremely lightweight, adjustable, you have a full back mesh, which makes it super breathable. Light cup molding with removable bra pads. So it's a very, very lightweight wear. You can wear it all day long. It's very comfortable. These are some of their most popular pieces. I like to wear these under my tight fit tops, like my tanks. Perfectly seamless. You don't see any lines or anything coming through your clothes, especially if you wear body suits that don't have any built in bra pads. I am a size small in everything Ebby. They are very, very true to size. To go with them, we have their seamless bikini bottoms. I know with the holiday season coming up, getting all dressed up, getting a little bit fancy, you need to wear something underneath and sometimes you just can't do a thong. <laughs> <laughs> but don't sleep on their seamless longs because I wear them religiously under all of my leggings at the gym. You never see a panty line. So these have a lot more coverage on the back side. These are very stretchy, but yet still super supportive. And their slip proof technology prevents slipping, bunches, and wedgies. They have a ton of color options to choose, even really fun prints. I love sticking with nudes and blacks because they are more versatile for me. Proceeds do help fund micro loans for women trying to start their own businesses. So a really great cause. If you see anything you like, don't forget to use code AshleyGata at checkout to save 15% off of your order. So I basically have two colors to share with you today. I went with the moss olive green and I went with the, what the fuck is this? And the magenta pink. I know they also came out with coastal blue and black, but meh. <laughs> we'll be talking leggings, crop top, sports bra, shorts, all in one, and jogger set today. You know the training minimal bras that I love so much, but I don't wear them to the gym? This is it. Now they kept the integrity of the legging for the most part. They kept it very consistent in terms of that material, which is very similar to the training leggings in case you don't know. Very silky, soft, slippery feel. Deciding to start with the moss olive, AKA toxic green. I feel like a Ninja Turtle coming out of the sewer. A little retro with a Ninja Turtle vibe. I don't know, you comment down below, what do you think? Okay, so let's see what we're looking at here. We gotta start with the bra, okay? For you guys, I wore the minimal bra to the gym. There's no padding in it. Now, okay, you got a relatively thick material, but there's no actual bra pads and there's no option for insert. So let's start with the pros and then we'll move on to some cons. I think it's extremely flattering on the girls. I like the option to move around the straps on the back even though it's not necessarily adjustable, there's no plastic piece to make it tighter or looser. I would wear this bra for my home workouts, not necessarily the gym. Mind you, I've worn them in both occasions. When I'm working out at home, I don't mind the low support. 
me moving around, jiggling around. I don't mind that because it's just me, myself, and I. Not something I personally would wear to the gym. I noticed a couple things. Number one, in the really light color training bras, I noticed that my nip was showing. In these dark colors, I don't think it's gonna be as obvious so you could get away with it, but between the low support and the fact that when I really push my hands forward like this, a couple times I actually had a nip slip. Eh? Luckily I was at home, which is why I don't wear it to the gym. But I know a lot of people who do wear this to the gym and they love it. Keep in mind, everybody's preferences are their own. This is just me. I need a slight bit of more coverage, that's all. With the leggings, there's a little more support in these, more of a moderate than a low. So I did a full body day in these leggings. Some upper body and some lower body. I really didn't prefer them working lower body. When squatting and doing sumo squats and things like that where I'm spreading my legs, I noticed that, and I do believe, it's this scrunch that runs down to the gusset. It's very thick, especially when you look inside, you can see the seam really raised up. That pulls on the gusset a little bit. So when I'm getting in a real low to the flow squat, I start to feel like when I come up, it just sucks up right with me. Not necessarily in a good way, like, ooh, my peach looks good. No, it sucks up right in between here. Nobody wants the front scrunch. Now, I know I keep saying I worked out in these. I did a full-fledged workout, but you're not necessarily gonna see clips of me working out. When I wore this to the gym, it was very busy, and I don't like filming when there's a lot of other people around. I like the material. I dig that it's very slippery, silky smooth. For the most part, I like the scrunch. It's a lot better than that patchy scrunch, say, on the camo. So I think this is a step up in the scrunch direction. If you look closely, though, you do have a little bit of that cat butthole effect. <laughs> you can especially see it on the lighter colors, such as the magenta pink. That's where I noticed it on the shorts. I was like, wow, that's really noticeable. On this moss green, moss olive, whatever, it's not as noticeable. So you heard me in the beginning of the video say that this is an awful lot like the material of the training leggings, and it is. The big difference here is that these don't slip like the training leggings do. I know a lot of you said, oh, I love training leggings, but they slip when I'm squatting. These don't do that, so that's a plus. But I have to make mention of something. This is very important, and this is something I really, to be honest, haven't noticed until this launch is the fact that when you look at where the seam placement is, it's very undetectable. They did a great job at concealing those seams on the outside. However, I have to make it known that it's all on the inside. So you do feel it on the inside. The band area, down the legs, especially right in between the groin. <laughs> I need to let that be known. So please keep that in mind in case that's something you're conscious of when working out and wearing these types of leggings. Being that this is a pattern legging, we're gonna test squat proof, but it's important to note that the lining in here is this bright yellowy green. So in certain lighting around the meaty areas when you spread it apart, you're gonna see that. It's not that it's sheer, it's just the lining peeking through. So to be honest, this is how I wore at the gym with the midi tank. Big takeaways of this piece is it's more of a midi style. You do have a flat line seam going straight down the middle and it's an all over microscopic rib. It's really lightweight and super stretchy. It's not silky slippery like this. It's more of a textured, slight texture. The backing is the big statement of this piece. You can see the bra underneath, which is why I made sure I wore the matching bra so it looks very cohesive. Which I like that they made a crop like this because even though I wouldn't wear the bra by itself as my only layer, you do have that really nice option for coverage while still peekabooing all the really nice elements that we like in the minimal bra. You probably heard me talk about this in stories. This is definitely one of my favorite all-in-ones that Gymshark has come out with. Let me tell you why. There's a built-in sports bra. <laughs> it's as simple as that. I do think that with this color and design, the all-in-one, it just works. This I'm gonna be using a lot in the summertime. Hell, I'm using it right now. I use it for my at-home yoga sessions. You still have that slippery soft vibe, same material as the leggings. There's a few differences though. There's no scrunch bum, not needed. Nah, you're doing yoga, what do you need to do with the scrunch bum? <laughs> Especially considering how invasive it is, I'm really glad for a more relaxed look back here and nothing intruding where it shouldn't. With that being said, the seams are different on this piece than the leggings. So whereas the leggings had the real minimal seam but real thick underneath the piece, this is a flat lying seam going on the outside and the inside so you don't feel them. Very different, I wish they did this on the leggings. Again, you do have a built-in little bra, nothing crazy, 
but you do have removable bra pads. Also an inner seam separation so the bra pads don't cross over. Gotta make that mentioned because that's important. I love the ballerina scoop back. I think it's really pretty, super elegant and classy looking. My one and only con, I guess you would say, for this would be the little bit of lip we got going around right here by the armpits. Do you see that little lip? It's a little lip. Definitely not enough for me to size down. The only way I would size down is if I'm in between sizes. I think you could do that with pretty much everything in today's video. Typically I size up to a medium in tight fit shorts. I didn't this time around. I actually don't know why. I think I might've forgotten. Nevertheless, this is a small, just like the rest of the pieces you see in today's video. I'm actually a little bit surprised that it's not digging. This is a lot like the shorts, the original, obviously. And I do recall really liking the way they lay across the thighs. No thigh cinching whatsoever. So if I size up to a medium, there's definitely gonna be nothing going on here, so. But I do feel like given the material, it would have been more wrinkly right here. So I'm totally cool with my size small. So just like the leggings, you have the scrunch bomb, all oh, those seams you can feel. <laughs> <laughs> Not as bad though, because it doesn't run down the leg. I actually prefer the shorts over the leggings for that reason. I also need to point this out. I almost forgot, it almost got me. The leggings and the shorts both have a seam at the very top of the band. Yet another seam. I did squat in these. There's no roll up at all. Very good like that. Not to say it wouldn't roll if say you're on a leg press, doing burpees or the hip abduction machine. I don't know, I didn't test it on those specific machines, but just straight squatting, jump squatting here, nothing. Still dealing with the situation going on right here. These are the type of bottoms you 100% need to wear underwear with. I think that goes without say. Closing the show with the full Moss Olive jogger set. So we're looking at a cropped hood. Eat. <laughs> we have no pockets up top. If you look closely, you do have some rib paneling going down the arms. And of course the thick ribbed cuffs around the ankles and the wrists. The hood's pretty big. They've been doing that lately with the hood. What's going on here? I don't mind though, because I love going incognito. So this is not silky smooth like the rest. You can guess that this is actual more cotton-based jogger set. If this was a full length hoodie, I'd be completely as old. Like, I love this as it is, but I would really like to see a full length version of this because I need something just to cover me up. The actual joggers though, yeah. There's a slight oversized look right around here where it counts. Very comfortable to wear. This is not a plush set, so it's got a little bit of texture on the inside lining, but not too rugged like terry cotton. You also have a ton of seams going on right around the glutes, just highlighting that glute area. You do have two pockets on the joggers, not zipped pockets. I think these are very underrated in this collection. All right, so what are we thinking about the new original power collection? Like I said, this collection has been out for quite some time, so if you've tried it, let us know how you like it in the comments below. Hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe because tomorrow, already tomorrow, we have a sick, nasty Gymshark video coming your way that you're not gonna wanna miss. I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here and I'll catch you in tomorrow's video.